to do this video for a while um i just never got around to it so i'm making the time now and i'm gonna try to make it really fast and sum up all my thoughts into one if it's all over the place i'm sorry bear with me and hopefully you get the point i'm trying to make um yeah i'm sorry i'm looking at the clock because i have to take my food out of the oven in like two yeah like two minutes so um yeah anywho this video is about the Florida merit teacher bill that's trying to that's in the process of being passed in the state of Florida um it's already been passed if I'm not mistaken about Congress or whoever but I know for a fact that Governor Charlie Chris Christ Chris Lord I didn't get my facts straight but he has by Friday to pass or veto this bill and and, and boy I'm telling you these educators, my fellow educators, is on his beep. It's on his ass. Like, for real. Like, because this is ridiculous. Like, my feelings, personally, are kind of mixed. Like, I feel like, yes, teachers should be held accountable for the for their students and how well their students are doing, especially if every year different group of students and they're still failing still are not succeeding still are not doing well academically um yes i feel like that teacher should be evaluated and see okay what's the problem here why is it that every year your students are not succeeding or not meeting the mark yes i understand that and you know we're already held accountable in different ways you know they're on our butts about fcat you know they're looking at you like you're crazy if your kids aren't doing well with fcat and they're not ready you know it's just it's so much we're already held accountable for and the fact that you the fact that someone will want to base an educator's pay or the security of an educator's, you know, position or job based on the student's assessments, I just think that's really kind of messed up because there's so many other things that go into the success of a child. It's like, it's so much going on at home that, or outside of school, period, that we as educators have no control over. We can only control what's within our realm, what's going on in our classroom. And yes, we reach out to the communities and try to get them involved and all that great stuff and have that link with the parents. But let's be real here. I mean, there's situations where you don't see mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever the guardian is at all. You call you send home letters, you request conferences. Like, it's kids that's going home to, you know, big brother, big sister, who isn't, you know, making sure that they're studying for their test or they're doing their homework or, you know, who could give a rat's butt about whether or not his little brother, sister, cousin, whatever, is doing well. Like, I just don't think that is fair like we already when we first start you have what your annual contract teacher meaning that they can let you go um they don't really have to have a legit or reason as to why they're not bringing you back next year and then after three years okay like i was saying before my battery died on me um after three years you become a tenure teacher where you have more job security and you have to have i guess more backing or more meat as to why they choose to let you go or um decide not to bring you back the next year 
But my whole point is, whoever created this, who came up with this brilliant idea, I mean, don't you just love it? I mean, like, whoever came up with this, I dare you, yes, I said dare you, dare you to spend two to three years teaching in a classroom by yourself, okay? No co-teaching, no none of that stuff. Just I dare you. And I want you to go to nothing against privileged schools or schools that, you know, are, you know, have privileged students because they have problems too. I'm talking about inner city school. Some kids with some serious problems. I'm talking about daddy locked up in jail, mama locked or mama locked up in jail. I'm being raised by grandma who doesn't come home to 12 o'clock at night. And um, my big brother, I'm sorry, y'all, my nose running. My big brother, my big sister, whoever is watching me. And my mama couldn't um, sign my report card or she not going to be able to make it in because she has to work. She don't have any days off. Like, we as educators have to wear so many shoes. We have to be mama, daddy, mentor, advisor, educator, um, counselor. Like so many different roles. It's ridiculous. And we already have so much on us. And to have to have that on our riding on our back thinking if this child doesn't do well, then my job's on the line. This child doesn't do well, then I'm going to get a cut in my pay. And I already don't make enough or as much as I should be making. You know, it's just, it just doesn't make a bit of sense to me. I'm not happy with this whole idea. And I just want to know what you all think about it. Um, leave comments below, do a video response, whatever. It's just not cool with me, period. It's, just only, it's my first year teaching, and I don't want to have to continue on with this type of bill being, I guess, approved. Um, they have until Friday for it to, you know, for him to approve or veto it. So um, just let me know what you all think. And, um, that's it. I'm going to tag this along with, or I may not, I don't know. But, um, that's it. Alright, later.